Hello and welcome to BrianStevenson.com. This is Brian Stevenson and today we are installing and configuring the Google Analytics module for Drupal 6. Let's just go ahead and cover some of the things we're going to talk about today. First we're going to answer the question, why should I use this module? We're also going to cover the installation and activation. We're going to look at the general settings. We're going to look at the tracking settings which include the user specific, role specific, and page specific settings. And we're going to touch on the advanced configuration, but I'm going to tease you guys because uh, you're going to have to watch my other video. Um, there's just way too much to cover about Google Analytics to do it all in one video. So check that other video out. So why should I use this module? Um, first of all, this is just my opinion here, but I think it adds about a thousand percent more functionality than the default JavaScript provided by Google. Now granted, uh, I know that's an arbitrarily high number, but you have to believe me, it's awesome. In fact, you should not use this module if you're allergic to awesome. Just take, take my word on it, install it, and uh, let's just have fun with it. Alright, so installation. Let's um, you just go out to drupal.org forward slash project forward slash google underscore analytics and as of today they're in version 2.0 um, and so far it's been real stable so no worries there and what you'll do is you'll take that file and you'll um, extract it to your sites all modules directory you guys uh, should be fairly familiar with how to do all that and then you go ahead and activate the module alright so Let's hop into my web browser here and let's have a look at the program. Let's see here. All right. Let's go ahead and um, so the Google Analytics can be found by going to the Administer, Site Configuration, and then Google Analytics. And the first step is to plug in your Google Analytics account number. Now, I just want to throw something in here. I'm making the assumption that you know what Google Analytics is and that you know how to find your Google Analytics number. And if you don't know where to find it, it's pretty simple. You just go here to your Google Analytics account, and then there it is. It's right next to your domain name. So you plug that in. And, and just in case you're wondering, hey, Brian, why are you showing me your Google Analytics account number? Well, I just want to let you know that it's, um, it's not sensitive information. Anybody who has the ability to view the source of your website uh, can, can get that freely. Um, so don't freak out. It's, uh, it's, it's fair game for anybody. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and look at the user-specific tracking settings. Uh, you've got three options you can either let users, um, or I should say, users cannot control whether or not they are tracked, uh, and you can track users by default, but let individual users opt out, or you, uh, you do not track users by default, and you let individual users lo uh, opt in. Now, uh, in other words, what that means is um, the first option, everyone is tracked, period. Whether you're anonymous or authenticated, you're going to get tracked. Unless you've disabled JavaScript, uh, you're going to get tracked. Um, and option number two, everyone is tracked unless they, are, are, they opt out. Um, and, uh, and the third option, no one is tracked unless they opt in. And this is important, uh, really, because some companies have, you know, privacy policies where, you know, they want to allow their... Uh, users to be able to choose whether or not uh, they 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 um, they're basically if, if privacy is a concern, this module will allow you to meet those concerns. Okay, and oh yeah, I just want to throw in here: you need to be able to set you need to set the permissions in order to allow a user group to opt out. So let's go ahead and cover that very briefly because uh, I banged my head uh, forever trying to figure out why. Uh, it wasn't working for me and it was just a permissions issue. When in doubt it's a permissions issue, is it not? So you go to user management, permissions, and you've actually got three options here. You can um, give people the ability to administer Google Analytics to opt in or opt out of tracking or to use PHP for tracking visibility. And today what really matters is that if you want to allow people to opt in or opt out they need to be checked. And if not uh, they won't be able to opt out or opt in if you uh, want them to do that. And let me show you what that looks like in the user profile. Um, 
let's go ahead and look at a user here. If you go to the edit menu um, under a, a user that I, I've called patron, um, if you scroll down to the bottom here, uh, there's this thing called user tracking. And right now it's un unchecked, which means that this particular user, if they were to log in, they would not be tracked. And so it's very powerful for uh, those very strict privacy policies. Okay, let's go ahead and cover role-specific tracking. Uh, this is useful if you want to track just certain combinations of user groups. Now, uh, you know by default there are two user groups. You're either authenticated or you're anonymous. Either we know who you are or we don't know who you are. And, um, and then you can add your own user groups uh, based on the site roles or whatever uh, you're trying to accomplish in your website. Now, um, you can do uh, five different tracking, uh, any combination of the five. You can track anonymous users only. You can exclude all anonymous users. You can track authenticated users only. You can exclude all authenticated users. And you can track just certain authenticated user roles. Now, let me show you what this looks like within your uh, configuration because it might make a little bit more sense if you can see the options that they've given you for setting that up. Um, basically what they have here is a is a checkbox list of the user roles and um, let's say you just wanted to ch uh, track anonymous users you would check it like this or if you just wanted to track all authenticated users but not the anonymous users you would check this and if you wanted to track uh, track all anonymous but uh, you know just certain authenticated user groups you can do that too so you've got uh, quite a bit of flexibility with how you uh, track your users okay let's go ahead and look at page specific tracking now this is uh, really good if um, if you've got certain sections of your website that you really don't care uh, if they show up in Google Analytics or not. Things like your admin pages or your user administration or maybe you know node creation uh, maybe those don't really matter to you um, and so what you can do is you can say track every page except the listed pages below or you can do the opposite you can say I want to track um, nothing except these pages or what you can do is you can um, check that and it will um, allow you to put in some custom PHP code and, um, and basically if it returns true for a certain condition then uh, it'll, it'll display your Google Analytics code and if not then it won't show up there. I want to give you a real life scenario why tracking the uh, role specific or the page specific uh, would be very useful. Um, just recently I did uh, an update to my website and um, as you can see here my page views went through the roof and that was because uh, my Google Analytics were tracking every subdirectory of my site uh, all the admin pages all the node creation pages and I was doing a whole lot of site administration and as you can see there completely threw off my stats and so that's one way um, why you'd want to uh, you'd want to track specific roles or or track specific pages it just keeps your um, it just keeps your Google Analytics uh, results clean and easy to read. All right, so this brings us to the advanced configuration. Now you're going to have to check out my other video to look at all that. Uh, we're going to cover user segmentation and profile module, um, and that is really cool. Uh, you can do advanced settings as well as link tracking and you can also insert custom JavaScript in order to extend Google Analytics and let me tell you that's really cool and I'm gonna throw in a few examples of how you can take advantage of Google Analytics beyond uh, what they give you by default and uh, that's the permalink to get to that uh, yet to be released video uh, please check it out now, if you have any questions or comments about this screencast, please speak up. I'm not good at reading minds, not even my own. And uh, do you have a request for a future screencast? Please fill out this contact form. It's at brianstevenson.com forward slash contact. And thank you, and I hope to see you on the net.